Hi, I'm Leanne with Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois. It's springtime and flowers are blooming. Rain helps flowers to grow. Maybe you have helped your mom or dad water flowers at your house. Well, I have two fun, colorful activities to show you how water moves through a plant or capillary action as part of our playful learning at home series. For the first activity, you need a fresh flower, a glass, water, and food coloring, and a little bit of patience. I took two glasses, filled each of them with water. I put green food coloring in one glass of water and red food coloring in the other glass of water. And then I stuck a fresh flower in each glass. Then I waited three or four hours. That's where the patience comes in. But when I came back, I saw that the white flower petals had turned green and pink from the food coloring, showing me that the water had moved through the stem up into the flower petals. For another activity that lets you watch capillary action, all you need is a toilet paper roll, paper, scissors, tape, water, and a bowl or a large baking dish. You can use the toilet paper roll to make the petals of your flowers, to draw the petals of your flowers and then cut them out, or you can draw your own flower petals and cut them out. When you're done cutting out your flower, you fold the petals in, bend them and fold them in, and then set them into the water. The paper has fiber strands through it. And when the water touches the paper, it works just like in a real flower and it moves through those fibers and you can see it in action. You can watch as those petals unfold. You'll find instructions for these activities on our Playful Learning at Home page on our website. If you do these activities, please take pictures of your beautiful flowers and share them with us with hashtag Discovery Center Science. Thank you for playing. Have a good day. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities, or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.